Uh, 13 years of marriage, no children. Yeah. Look how amazed people are, really? How did he do it? I don't know. I, you know what I tell you what? My sisters have kids, and I think it's just going to be tough to be a parent. I don't know if I want to be a parent because I'm selfish. But at least I know I'm selfish, because I know my kid would probably come up, Daddy, I want a new bike. Yeah, well, I want a Corvette. Guess who's going to win? I do everything half-assed. I'm just afraid I would be a half-assed parent. Like, I would take my kid, I'd drop him off at school, and he'd call me up angry, come pick up your child. How come? He's not wearing pants. <laughs> well, give me a minute, neither am I. Why do you think I didn't get out of my Corvette to drop him off? You know what it is? My parents want me to have kids because they want grandchildren. So I'm supposed to make the sacrifice for their happiness. And I told my mom, I go, listen, I'll have kids for the same reason dad had them. I get tired of getting my own beer. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Go get daddy a beer. Go, go. <laughs> that one loves us the most. <laughs> My mom actually said this. She goes, well, you should have children. Children bring joy and happiness to your life. I go, yeah, so does vodka. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want to spend all day with it. I'd be drunk on a swing. You know what it is? It's like I said, my sisters have all the kids. My sister's got two boys. She was trying for her third and final child because she wanted a girl, ended up having a third boy. She was upset. She goes, oh, why couldn't the last one be a girl? Something for me. She goes, when I found out the last one was a boy, I was upset. I cried for a week. I go, hey, same thing happened to me in Thailand. Oh. What? You can't tell, they're small and pretty, you don't know. I mean, you're, you're drunk in a foreign country, you're not really paying attention. You really should be thinking more about what your actions are sometimes, you know? My parents, I just see what they went through. They were very young when they had his children. I don't believe a young parent is as patient as an older parent would be. I remember the first time my dad taught me to ride a bike. He goes, okay, you're gonna do what's called balancing yourself, all right? All right, ready, put your feet up. All right, see you're doing it. <laughs> Watch you hold on to the damn bike next time. <laughs> Look how much fun the bike's having without you. I can hear the bike laughing. Ha ha, I'm having fun. And my mom was really young. Get this, by the time my mom was 19 years old, she'd had three children. Oh. Yeah, my mom's a hoochie. What was she thinking, three kids at 19? She had me at 17. How do you discipline a child at 17? Dude, quit it. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to pay for that. <laughs> I got a nephew, my nephew's 17 years old. I couldn't even fathom him being a parent. You know what he did? Pierced his eyebrow right here. And then he told me I should do it. I don't mind the fact that he did it, he's 17. He wants to express himself, whatever. It's the reason why he did it. I go, Mike, why'd you do that? He goes, well, you should do it. I go, why? People will look at you. <laughs> You're a dumbass. <laughs> this kid's got his whole head pierced. He's got his tongue pierced, his nose pierced, ears are done. That was his last one right there. And after he got the last one, he goes, admit it, man. They look good all together. I go, yeah, if you're a flute. <laughs> What happened? You try to hold in a sneeze. <laughs> You're gonna sound like a damn bagpipe. <laughs> he doesn't make any sense to me. He's probably, probably one of the reasons why I don't, I don't have any kids. But I've been married a long time, 13 years, like I said. I feel like I'm in that, that old love stage of marriage. Remember that young love stage? My God, when you first met that special someone, how excited you were to see him. You were entranced by everything they did. You'd see him coming, oh my God, it's you. Oh, it's me, it's you, it says, yes, it's you, hey. <laughs> then you're married for a while, oh, it's you. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> because there's differences between a young and the old love, isn't there? Young love, what do you do? You make love all hours of the night. Old love, right before American Idol. <laughs> Young love, you drive your partner to the airport and you cry because they're leaving. Old love, drive off with their luggage still in the car. 
Young love, you complete me. Old love, you can't complete anything. <laughs> Young love, you are the wind beneath my wings. Old love, you are the wind beneath the sheets. Any good relationship, and this is what my wife told me, any good relationship comes down to communication or, or I don't know, I wouldn't listen to her. She would be like, gah, 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 gah. You know, hello, the TV's on, hello, gah, 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 gah. <laughs> My wife, I tell you what, will say things to me now that I have no idea what the heck she's talking about. And you know when it started? Day before we got married. She goes, don't show up to the church and be discombobulated. Hey, you have a dab a do to you too. <laughs> Get this, we're at a car show. I want to use the porta potty. I go inside, she goes, all right, hurry up. Who the hell takes her time in a porta potty? <laughs> How long you in a porta potty? As long as you can hold your breath. <laughs> your breath goes, your ass is coming out. <laughs> Pants around your ankles, gah! <laughs> Nobody's hanging out in a porta potty browsing. This is nice. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Skylights, cool. <gasps> a small sink, neat. <laughs> I can't believe this. I wouldn't go back to being single. I've got single friends, and it seems like the relationships are always emotional. And their emotions are always up and down, up and down, up and down. Married people, one more stable. We're straight across the board which kind of reminded me of that cardiac machine at the hospital. <laughs> My wife actually thought I was rude when we first met. You believe that? Me, Mr. Personality. <laughs> I thought she was rude. Here's what happened. My friend set us up to go on a date. It's New Year's Eve. She gets in the car. She's got this list, list of rules for the evening. She goes, we're not gonna kiss. We're not gonna hold hands. We're not gonna hug. We're not doing anything till I've known you at least six months. I dropped her back at her house. <laughs> I'll see you in June. <laughs> That's my time, folks. I'm Danny Via Pondo. Thank you very much. <laughs>